Well, it's end of December, so that must mean it's time for another field walk. Let's take a look and see what's going on in the field right now. Good morning, chickies. Hey, girlies. So the hens are, as you can see, definitely molting. It's December, so that makes sense. And they turned one about a week and a half ago. So they were hatched out, if I am remembering correctly, on December, is either just 16th or the 17th of 2019. So congrats, girlies. Once around the sun. <laughs> And the sun just peeked out from behind some clouds, so hopefully it'll be a little easier to see those little little stubbles way over there. Oh, sorry. Those are garlic and shallots and bulb flowers. And then right next to me is the row of, ooh, it's doing the best. Look at that, hello. We've got a couple that got pulled out. It's kind of fun to see how they're, how they grow. So probably a bird pulled this one out. So there's the little bulb. Look at all those roots. So I'll tuck that one in and see if we can save it. Probably not, but why not? This row, this is elephant garlic. This is probably doing next best, which is amazing because see all that water? Very wet, but it's doing pretty great. So this has been our experience the last couple seasons with the elephant garlic. It just seems to be a lot more wet tolerant and hardy to our <laughs> sometimes nasty climate. So thank you, elephant garlic. Keep going. So this fabric area, this is landscaping fabric. It helps with our weed pressure. And this area was where all of our squash, I shouldn't say all of it, but almost all of our squash, our winter squash, our pumpkins, summer squash, zucchini, where almost all of it was planted out. Some cucumbers too. And it's kind of a, I don't know, it's a little grim, but it's kind of fun to see what it looks like when it's been neglected for a while. And then there's the puddles. Wouldn't be December without a bunch of puddles, right? So here's Kearney Creek. It runs between our barns and our fields. And it's a tributary to the South Fork New Wacom River, which feeds to the Chehalis, which feeds to the Pacific Ocean. And about a week ago, it was about two and a half or three feet higher than it is right now. So all of that kind of debris in there, that is new. Kind of wild to see how much it can change so fast, but pretty cool. And last year, when we had lots of crazy flooding, you can kind of see it's still sort of flattened. The water came all the way up, all the way to that foundation was about where my fingernail is high, which was pretty wild. Came almost to the very, let's see, came to about here on the bridge, just barely from coming over the top of the bridge. We've got two reds, so those are salmon egg nests that have been marked by Washington State Department of Fish and Wildlife. We have not seen any fish this year partially because it's been a pretty pretty wild uh, creek lately with all the murkiness with the flood watches and such. It's been pretty hard to see anything really in there, but we haven't seen any fish since last November, probably. But we got two marked nests, at least, that we've noticed. So that's pretty cool, and hopefully we'll see more fry come summer. When farming or gardening, of course, there's oftentimes volunteers. And no, I don't mean people helping you dig up your crops. I mean, garlic deciding it wants to join the party. <laughs> Look at all that rogue garlic. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you're having a good week and we'll see you next time for our next video.